Kevin's steadfast commitment to the unifying and world-embracing teachings of Baha'u'llah over the course of decades is recalled with heartfelt gratitude. He will be lovingly remembered as he shared the beauty of North American indigenous culture through dance, music, and storytelling, boldly and tirelessly conveying a message of the essential oneness of humanity to all his audiences. That's uh, kind of a short greeting. Uh, means uh, my relatives, uh, to each and all, I give you, I extend a warm, heartfelt handshake. If you're happy, please raise your hand. We're going to see how happy you are by the volume with which you repeat this word. All right, you ready? Ata Kili! My main goal is, is contrary to what people might assume, is that I really have practically zero interest in conveying cultural or, or tribal-specific information. I don't think that's useful. What's really useful, what I try and do, is to really convey positive awareness to the oneness of the human family, our shared values, our shared connections. No matter who you are, we're all part of one design. In this design, we're all invited to stand shoulder to shoulder, arm in arm, hand in hand, to walk and chart our destiny. This is what Baha'is believe, this is what Baha'u'llah has asked us to do now. The design may look something like this, it's a hoop made up of everybody. The hoop represents peace. And then we know, like from the study of science, that any kind of an ecosystem is compromised if it lacks diversity. But if that ecosystem is diverse, then that's a sign of its strength. This is exactly analogous to the human condition, too. If we're just isolated and we can't interact, then that's a sign of atrophy or death. But the more we can interact, this is a sign of vitality in life. Especially with the arts, it's a good sign for that. Unity or universal participation. Deal ye one with another with utmost love and harmony, with friendliness and fellowship. Basically, every culture, all the thousands of cultures on the planet, they have the traditional arts. And these are expressions that are passed down intergenerationally. They come to embody universal themes, the oneness of humanity, like our, you know, our shared values. And of course, the kids are the ones that are going to be coming into this world. I'm so thankful to be able to do like 95 plus percentage of my presentations with school age populations. And then the thing that I really think is effective is to have the involvement because without the involvement or participation, it just remains a vicarious experience. They can begin to take ownership and not feel like it's something alien from them, but it's actually, it becomes intrinsic to them. And this way they can begin to further this whole necessary process of seeing ourselves as legitimate heirs to the total richness of the human experience. I'm anxious to see the heroes arise, those that will carry the banner, the pathfinders, the victors in this most dramatic moment in human history. There's four ways that we can pray, and the most basic way to pray is voicing your prayer. O oh, Great Spirit, whose voice I hear in the wind, and whose breath gives life to all the world. Hear me, I am small and weak. One of your many children am I. Let me walk in beauty and make my eyes ever behold the red and purple sunset. Make my hands respect the things you have made and my ears sharp to hear your voice. Make me wise. I may know the many things you have hidden in every leaf and rock. I seek strength not to be greater than my brother, but to fight my greatest enemy myself. 
Make me always ready to come before you. Clean hands and straight eyes so that when life fades like the fading sunset, my spirit may come before you without shame. But if you want to turbocharge your prayer, then you sing your prayer. if you want to really add a whole new dimension to it is you dance your prayer. And then the fourth way of praying, which is the only way that really matters, is to live your prayer, your daily action. If you don't live it, then nothing else counts. We are spiritual beings. That's the world that we come from and the world that we go back to. Through the arts, especially music, then we can keep that connection alive. So we can have that connection to the world that's real, the world that's holy and good, the world that's beautiful. I have awakened in thy shelter, oh my God. And if he cometh in the secret that shelter to abide within the sanctuary of thy protection and the stronghold of thy defense, illumine my infancy, O my Lord. With the splendors of the day spring of thy revelation, even as thou didst illumine my outer being with the morning light of thy favor. Blessed is the spot and the house and the place and the city and the heart and the mountain and the refuge and the cave and the valley and the land and the sea and the island and the meadow where mention of God has been made and his praise glorified. Ha ha hey, ha ha hey. In Kashi Lawakanka. You 
Yo, yo, un yechi hipi cha ke wo kila kanka, ngeni cha te, ona ha, le ampesu ki ha, un yagula wa shte pikta, un yagula wa kan pikta na ha, da to kun kun pikta cha ke, un kashila, un kitoka, cha ku wa shte yechi cha ka pikta, ona o ki a pie na, ushu ki la pie, Ah, ah, hey, ah, ah, hey, yeah, I'm